Hi guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I want to show you a secret hidden fuel filter screen inside a lot of outdoor power equipment carburetors. Now up until last year sometime, even I didn't know that they had put this screen in the carburetor. What I want to do in this video today is show you exactly where this screen is, how to properly access it and clean it, and make your equipment run like new again. If any of you watching today do any kind of small engine repair, I would class this video as a must watch. In the video, I'm going to show you where this screen is hidden, how to clean it, and get your equipment running like new again. Now, before I get into the repair today, I want to let you know this carburetor came out of this Cub Cadet snowblower. It's got a Power More engine, 357 cc's. Now this machine came in with symptoms like the machine's only running for like 15-20 minutes, then it dies. Sometimes I can use the machine for the whole snow blowing session I have to do and it doesn't die at all. Now other symptoms you may get is a lot of sputtering, a lot of running lean, running on the choke only, and the worst case scenario is that your machine will not start anymore at all. So I'm going to get right into the carburetor and show you where that screen is hiding. Now when I clean this screen, I like to put the carburetor in the vise like this. Don't over tighten it. Now you guys are probably wondering where is that screen? Some of you might be thinking it's under the bowl, but no, that screen is behind here. So you have to pull out the connector and you'll find the screen in there and often you'll find a lot of dirt stuck in there and it's the dirt that gets stuck in there that causes the issues to your machine. So all you're going to need today to remove that connector guys is a pair of vice grips. Now before you remove the connector, make sure that you remember the position that it was before you took it off and that when you put it back in, you put it in the same way. So it's as easy as clamping a good pair of vice grips onto the connector. And then basically all you have to do is turn and pull. And you can already see the cause of the problems that this machine is having. It's actually full of dirt in there. So that little hidden screen that I've been talking about that acts as a fuel filter is hiding in behind that dirt. So I've got another carburetor here that's clean. I just want to show you where the screen is exactly. It's right at the bottom here. And this is how clean you want that screen to be for your equipment to run properly. And you also want to make sure that the connector is clean as well. And I'll show you how to clean this as well during the video. Now to properly clean that screen, you'll need to remove the bowl here. This is a 10 millimeter head. Now you'll need to remove the float and the needle valve. And in case you're wondering where this hole goes to, it goes right to the needle valve. So all the fuel that goes into the carburetor through the connector actually enters the carburetor through the needle valve here. So since these are connected together, I'm going to use this passageway here, blow a bit of air and shoot out the dirt that way. Don't go too hard with the air pressure because you could actually blow the little screen out of the carburetor. And since the connector that goes on the carb is full of dirt as well, I'll be blowing some air in through it as well. So make sure you have safety glasses, grab your blow gun and just blow in any direction, whether from here to there or here to there. Now it's guaranteed there is no dirt left inside here. And again, here's a close up view of all that dirt. So you'll notice here, I'm not putting the blow tip too tight in the hole. I just don't want all the pressure to go in through there. You can also turn down the dial on your air compressor pressure. So you should see the dirt come out the other end. And here we go. If you don't have an air compressor and if you're afraid to blow out the small screen is grab some carb cleaner, leave a rag where the other end of the hole is, spray it in there. And the carb cleaner will come out the other end and take out the dirt with it. And also sometimes you can use a small pick like this and just reach in and pull out the dirt. So basically you've got three options to clean that dirt. You can use air pressure, carb cleaner, or a small pick like this. And now you can see we have a nice clean screen in there. Now let's say you've accidentally blown out the little screen with the air pressure or the carb cleaner and now you can't find it anymore. Don't worry because the way to fix that is just grab a small screen from a carb kit like a Walbro carb kit or a Zama carb kit. And then you can just put that screen at the end of a drill bit like this and just insert it inside the hole and push it right to the end and you've got a new screen. 
So now that you have the screen cleaned, you want to reinstall the float and the needle valve. Make sure it's clean. So just examine it. You can air blow it if it's dirty. Just reinsert it in the card like this and then reinstall the pin. Now make sure you have the bowl o-ring here. It's stuck on the bowl, so I'm just going to leave it. And reinstall the bowl nut. And put it on fairly tight. And now we're going to reinstall it the same method we removed it by using the vice grips. Now you don't need to put any sealant around here if you don't want to, it's not necessary. You can, however, use Loctite 680 retaining compound. Make sure you don't put it on the inside of the connector. You just want it on the outside. And you don't need much at all. Again, it's not necessary to use this retaining compound. I've done many carbs without using the retaining compound. And I've never had one leak. And then just push it in right to the end. It's going to get a lot tighter to push in the closer it gets to the carb. And again here I reinstalled the connector in the same position that it was before I removed it. It's critical you do that so that the fuel line lines up again with the carburetor. So that's where that screen is hiding guys. If you have any equipment that's not running properly, make sure to check that. A lot of people replace carburetors and the only culprit is that little screen is all dirty. And if that screen is slightly dirty, your engine will be starving for fuel when it's under load. Now a lot of people watching today will be asking me, can I add an extra fuel filter to prevent this from happening? Well, the simple answer to that is yes. And I must say only if there is room on your engine to do so. Some engines are so packed that there's no room to add an external fuel filter. So most engines nowadays have a screen in the fuel tank in addition to the small screen in the carburetor I showed you. Fortunately though on this snowblower there was room and I added an extra inline fuel filter that will stop pretty well all the dirt from accumulating at the little screen that I just showed you and cleaned. And just remember that it's not just on snowblowers that you will find that small screen inside the carburetor like that. Thanks again for watching and please comment below if you've run across this issue before. Have a great day.